Hey, what's up guys? It's Andrew with iTech Try It, and welcome to a little segment we would like to call Ask It, or Ask ITT, for lack of a better name, because we're lazy. So anyways, we're going to be uh, answering questions asked by you guys. We either sent out a, a memo on Twitter, Google+, different things to let you guys ask these questions, and we've gather, gathered a few, and um, so we're going to start asking them. All right, so the first question we have is from Hamza. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it will be right over here. Saeed. Yeah, um, and he asks, do you make a script or bullet points before making a video? And if not, what is your process? Okay, um, I, <clears throat> Ben does it a little differently. Ben, actually Ben does it the normal way. Yes. And it makes sense the way he does it. Okay, he, so what I, what yeah. I do is, I will, if, I, if it's a phone or something I'm reviewing on the website, if it's just a normal video, I don't really do it this way, but if it's a review that's also gonna be on the website, I write the written review first, and then I take the written review and kind of shorten it out and kind of cut the fat to make it into like a four to six minute video for the YouTube channel. And then after that, you know, I just record the voiceover and I shoot the footage and edit everything all that together. I do it very differently. Yes, well, he does. I do it the opposite way. I will write a script. Of just I do like I do bullet points. All right. I like I take a phone. And I'm like, okay, this, 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 this main points. Let's expand just a little bit on those points into a video and get a script. So I'm not making a 10 minute long video because no one's gonna watch that. Right. I, I aim for maybe four minutes for a flagship. You know, videos do not get watched if they're if they're very long, unless it's really interesting. Yeah, we don't have that talent. You know, well, what it is is that there's some YouTubers who they can make a 10 minute review, they can make a 30 minute review, and people will watch it. But not everyone needs not to us. spend not everyone needs to spend half an hour knowing what they need to know about a phone. Some people just want to know is the battery good, is the camera good, etc. And that's all we're here to tell you. We're consumer focused. There you go. Anyways, um, yeah, so I'll do bullet points and then I will take that and I will expand on it further and I will give you a full-blown spec-filled review if you want on an article on the website, but not, yep. for, not for YouTube. Okay, so we've technically got like three questions that are very similar. I'm just gonna group them together. Who are um, the first, who are the askers? They, they are from VM Tech, who has a YouTube channel. I'll link it somewhere. Um, Anika, I, and then our friend Patrick. So I'll put those in order. Basically, who, how did you get into YouTube? Who was your inspiration? Who's your role model? And who got you into tech? Okay, um, inspiration, role model, who got me into tech? He got me into tech. I was talking about <laughs> him and Alex. Well, not into tech, necessarily. I've been a little techie since I was, you know, walking around with, with my little DS. I've been always yeah, interested in taking things apart, yeah. putting them back together, learning how things work. That's always been my interest. So when Ben comes along one day and he says, hey, I have this website, uh, you should write for us sometime. I'm like, okay, cool. And, you know, and I started off as writing news articles on the website. Um, and then it escalated to, I started writing tiny reviews and then I did a voiceover, not a video. I did a voiceover for a video for how to speed up your iPhone 4. And then from there it progressed and I started showing up more and more and slowly taking over. And then Alex stopped doing things. We bought him a camera and now we're here. Ta-da. <laughs> oh, um, oh, inspiration for me. And role model, yeah. And role, same, 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 same basic thing. Um, I, I kind of got inspired by the whole YouTube community. Um, kind of taking little bits of information from them and, and taking their ideas, or not their ideas, but like the way they make videos and kind of coming up with my own little way, I hope, um, of getting videos done. And they've kind of helped me to do that in my own little head, so. Anyone specific? Not really, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's everyone that kind of joins together for me. So. Yeah, for me, I would say, like, specifically, Alex helped me kind of get into a true tech Thing, Cause I wasn't, I was, you know, I, I kind of liked it. I, you know, messed around with stuff, but I finally got into it once I started doing stuff with him. Um, and then who really helped me, who really helped inspire the way I make my videos and helped me shape my style of videos would be John Ruttinger from Techno Buffalo and Michael Fisher, formerly from Pocket Now. Um, they kind of helped me with, kind of shape the way I make my videos and, 
you know, I like to think it's a little different from them, but it's probably just a little shorter. Next question. Oh, and then Patrick also says, can you do a behind the scenes video documenting the process from start to finish of making a video Look, for, for science? We don't have a process. Yeah, no, not We really. kind of just, we put things together and hope it works out. Like, like for instance, to get our attention or to be able to focus on making a video about how we make a video is going to be a yeah. large task we're not ready for. And that runs into the one of our other questions. I'm pretty sure what are our milestones for 2016 yep. is probably to make a video about how we make a video. Yeah. How to make a video That's about how to make goals. a video. I want to get a Sigma 18 to 35 lens. And what else do I, I said, what else do I want? I don't know. That's pretty much it. I just want a Sigma. He's a materialistic guy. No, I just want a Sigma. That's all um, I want. I want the viewers <laughs> for once to be happy, but that, that'll that come in 2034. 2034. Yeah. That's the year when everyone will be happy with YouTube. No, it's not gonna happen. Anyways, anyways and all right, <laughs> those two words mixed together bring us to our next question. They do? Which one? You got the tablet. You, you okay. Um, so one of the other questions was also from Hamza, who wrote the first question. I guarantee I'm pronouncing that completely wrong. Hamza. But uh, he asked, what was your all-time favorite smartphone and why? Uh, number one, 6P, because pretty. It's got stock Android. That's why I like Motorola's phones most of the time, because they have stock Android. Um, it's fingerprint sensor. I love that thing. It's the perfect size for me. Um, it feels really comfortable and it's just an all around pretty great phone. Second, I think for me, would be the S7 without touch waves. Yeah. So. Uh, for me, my favorite phone I've ever owned or tried or anything would probably be the Nexus 6. Because honestly, I could still use that today. The only reason I upgraded was so I could do a review and for the fingerprint sensor. Because I really did like the Nexus 6, and then if I had to go a little further back, probably the Galaxy Nexus, because that was actually my first smartphone, and I, I still love the, everything about that phone down to today. But um, let's go ahead and do the last question. Um, and this one is completely off topic, but it is from a, a Moldy? It's, it's here. Um, Who is your favorite superhero, and which one do you not like? Uh... Um, favorite superhero, I think, would have to be The Flash, but that will definitely change within the next week. I'm sure it always changes. Um, I just, I, yeah. I like the aesthetic around it. And also, I think Aquaman gets way too much hate, to be honest. And hate me all you want, but that's how I feel about Aquaman. Yep. With the new movie coming out, I'm sure things will lighten up just a bit, I hope. Yeah, I would say my favorite's probably The Flash, too with Spider-Man right up there as well. I, I love Spider-Man. I cannot wait to see him in Civil War in a couple of weeks. Oh yeah, that's coming. It's in a couple of weeks, yeah. Um, if I had to pick a third, probably Batman. But I really can't pick one that I don't like. It's hard to pick a superhero that you don't like. Fun fact, I got super sick in the middle of Batman v Superman and had to leave. It's probably a good choice. Yeah, I was totally fine with it. Anyways, that wraps it up for Ask iTech Try It. Thanks so much for putting in these questions for us. We really appreciate it. Um, it gives us something to do. <laughs> and uh, please keep watching our channel. If you haven't, you should probably hit that notification thing, the little button, or don't. I don't. I'm not your boss. Should, and then you'll get stuff from when we post things <laughs> in your feed. And um, subscribe to the channel if you want, because we have stuff every week that is our other milestone goal is to get stuff in every week yeah um so you guys can get content and yeah, we, we appreciate you watching so anyways thank you so much and we'll catch you next time